Mic check one, two. Here we are at the beautiful Kentucky Eileen Provincial Park. That over there is Eileen Lake. And we've got the little kiddie pool here. Kentucky is that way. We're gonna do some ice fishing. Uh, it's not as cold as we hoped. Craig's out there drilling holes right now. I'm gonna get the truck chained up so that I can bring it in closer. It's a sheet of ice down the road there, so. And it's a good excuse to use the chains. Here we go. Morning. Just making sure everything's in proper alignment. Sometimes stuff gets twisted up in storage. Bit of a hassle getting these on, but once it's done, then, then you don't have to worry and you can just kind of explore, which is really the whole reason why I bought these. You can, uh, freedom to go more places in the winter for sure. Ideally it's better to put them on on like more level ground, but not gonna do anything ideally today. All right, here comes Garth. He should be fine, but he might not be, so we gotta get it on film. Ah, way too much traction, I gotta take them off. I don't think I'll get stuck in here. Take a quick look and see if how much I sunk sunk into it, but I think, oh yeah, should be fine. Yeah. That is pretty slick though. Take a quick look. Oh yeah, this is where it starts to sink a little bit. That's all right, I think. It's pretty deep. Pick that spot, it'll be the same. Wanna stay there? I don't know, I, I, I just don't want to get the truck stuck. Even that guy was like, is he bringing that truck on the ice? I was like, no, no, we're just going to... <laughs> and we're back. That was an epic fail. I should have known better than to take the truck into that type of stuff. I almost got stuck. Well, sort of. It was definitely getting traction, but just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Live and learn. There goes the first two hours of uh, fishing. Doesn't seem like much, but it's all hard packed snow slush. So the truck sinks into it pretty good in some spots. Got a fish over there. He's off. No, he's there. Dude, he's good. He's tangled around my thing here though. Oh, 
Oh, he's really, really big. Oh, sweet, man. I'm stoked. Right on. He's like on the surface over here. Hope he's not around the GoPro. Take your time, don't, don't rip him through. All right, all right. He's, he's pretty big, man. Like, questioning whether he can get through the hole or not. Two pounder? Oh, no way. Come here, come here, look. There is. I don't is. want to spook him. Man. Just coax him in here so you can at least see him. It's pretty good. He's probably ready to come up pretty soon, eh? He's ready. He's looking. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. That. That's look, a large get through the hole, dude. Just, just what? let him get even more tired, maybe. Yeah. That is a very it. nice fish, dude. Grab him by the nope. Hold on, just let me get him. Oh, shit, I could have him there. I can't. I can't, dude. He's just pulling back. Oh my god. I can't. Easy. easy. Yeah, you weren't kidding when you said that. <laughs> I want to help, but I don't want to fuck it up either. I know, I can't. You want me to pull too? Atta <laughs> boy. Look at that. That is a nice fish, man. Are you keeping him? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a three and a half, that's a four pound fish. <laughs> He's got big teeth, man. Well, what you got there, Craig? What? The biggest fucking fish ever. <laughs> Jesus. Pretty good. <laughs> what is that, four pounds, you figure? And I'm keeping them, yeah. yeah. Uh, three for sure, At hey? These three. That's big, man. All right, I gotta take them out. I don't need to really hit them with. Do you have your scale? Well, we should weigh that thing before you got it or whatever. Oh, maybe I don't have it. It's that's... actually in my... Mm, we gotta measure it too. That's f***ing huge. I knew... I knew that might happen while we were here. That's the biggest trout happen. I've ever watched go through the ice. That's pretty cool. We need bigger augers to come out here fishing. Yeah, you're, you, <laughs> you maxed out the six inch hole. And I know for a fact that ain't the biggest fish in here. Oh, I'm sure they get bigger, but that's getting up there, dude. That's you, probably a fucking. You put around here on the boats in the summer, and you just see those. All right, set up in about three or four feet of water here. Try this spot for 15, 20 minutes, and. If nothing, I'll slowly move out. Out here. Uh, probably 10 inches at oh, least. Yeah. Um, I guess guys have been running around here with sleds. Oh yeah, yeah. Just strutting around with that big trophy, eh? <laughs> I would be too. What did that guy have to say? Uh, he was just asking if how the fishing is and if it's... Uh, he asked on the thickness of the ice and... You know where four super overprepared guys can come out of this lake?
Yeah, it's crazy to think of a fish that big just cruising around in water not even as deep as his length. Like he's like, what was that, like two or three feet mm -hmm. of water you're in? Probably a three or four year old fish, eh? Yeah. Count its butthole rings. <laughs> <laughs> that gives you the age. <laughs> like a tree. All right. Put in a good two hours here. Craig probably put in three. I wasted an hour messing around in the snow there. I was just playing up there, having fun. Just having fun. Um, both starving, so I'm gonna go cook some food and uh, get the tent set up and whatnot. So neither of us are set up for 100 foot depths. So we're gonna re-school. Yes, sir. I'm gonna keep my other rod set up for trout. Yeah, I am too. We're and, definitely uh, gonna do that. Here, just hold this. Yeah. Right. Just hold it. Yeah. Just pinch it and it'll be done. All right. Put Go pressure ahead. on it. Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah I'm familiar Thank you. with uh, spooling a rod there, Craig. Well, I just, that's all I need to do. <laughs> Currently, I gotta explain to you. Would you care to do me the favor that I did for you, sir? Yeah, hold on. I can, I can probably. No! Are you good? I think I'm good. All right, we've emerged from our bunker, our fortress of warmth. Whoo, it's slippery out. on the ice everybody's taking off now just us I think we got enough information about the kokanee today where we should be able to get on to something Well, no luck with the kokanee. Just gonna make some dinner. We got dinner number one going over there. Chicken and Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna do up a stir fry. And some more venison. It'll be a itchy band stir fry. Poor man stir fry, if you will. Of course, I forgot to bring any reading material or deck of cards again. That's the one thing that would be really awesome that we always forget, seems like. Well, it's hard, you know, like you think you're going to spend all the time out on the ice. Yeah, and then there's so up. much to remember, too. That. Okay, cool, those are dropped. Put them aside. Wow, it is nice up here. Yeah. It's so peaceful. And we've got some chicken, Brussels sprouts going. Guys got the Snow kicking up again. Beautiful in here. Man. Just trying to dial it in perfectly to slowly burn that. I think right there is pretty good. 
plenty of heat. Oh, it smells good in here. We've still got all this. Oh boy, there's pickled asparagus. A whole jar of pickled asparagus I see there. Oh my goodness. We're because eating. why not, right? We're eating. Just a little weasel. White weasel. He's pretty close to us. He's there and I'm right here. I think that's another one. I looked and he was climbing down the wall right here. Oh, there he goes. Where? Ballsy little guy. Where is he? Spawn. Right there. In the snow. He's going around. We maxed this Tacoma out, I think. Not in terms of weight, but just space-wise. Yeah, it's pretty full in here. You could just do a winter expedition or two. You can just manage it. it. Wasn't too bad, was it? It was worth it to see you get that Mondo fish, for sure. Right there. That's where it was, right there. Yes, sir. Next time's my turn, though. All right. I want one. I'll uh, take her easy next time.